Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. I'm on the Ashby Canal at Snareston and it's very early on a Sunday morning and I'm walking down the canal on the way to the Misham car boot sale. I'm travelling light today so I'm just recording with the GoPro, no gimbal, no separate sound recorder and unfortunately I'm walking along with the GoPro just a little bit too close to my face so unfortunately although you'll be able to hear what I'm saying you will hear quite a lot of puffing and gasping as I'm walking along. Can't do much about that I'm afraid. We'll be walking along the restored section of the Ashby Canal so before we go any farther let's have a look at the map. So we're starting at the yellow marker down at the bottom of the map and finishing at the Misham car boot sale near the top of the map. On the way we go through Snareston, past the tunnel, onto the end of the currently navigable Ashby Canal. The restored section is after that and then the unrestored section or part of it comes after that again. Morning. Morning. It's quite cold this morning and there is a bit of frost on the ground in places. There's the Snareston Tunnel up just up ahead. We're going over the top. All this heavy breathing is a bit embarrassing, but what can I do? There's frost on the ground. It's really quite cold. But it's going to warm up soon. It's a lovely day. I have to keep slowing myself down, heading to the car boot you see, and it's not supposed to open until 8 o'clock for buyers, but I was there last week earlier than that and it was well and truly open and all the good stuff was gone. So I'm having to keep slowing myself down because the temptation is to race down there. towpath changes sides at bridge 61 here and we're almost at the navigable end of the Ashby Canal. Visitor moorings are just on the other side of that bridge but there's not very many of them, they're quite limited. Basically we've got the uh, visitor moorings, a winding hole, boaters facilities and then you can carry on down the restored section of the Ashby but only when it's open, as it's closed at the moment. It's 
So here we are. There's room for about four boats on the visitor moorings. I'm glad I didn't bring my boat down here because I wouldn't be able to stop. Although if you plan to go to the car boot sale, this is the ideal place to stop if you can get a space. Right here we have a winding hole. This is where you turn to go back again. Shortly after that we've got a a swing bridge. The canal is closed there at the moment. To the right there there's a shop for the Ashby Canal Association. And just here, just past the winding hole, on the left here is the water point and voters facilities. The rubbish bins are across the swing bridge in the skip on the other side. Motors facilities, water point there. And this is the temporary bridge you would cross by. Red skip over there is the, for the rubbish. Now normally you can boat along here, but it only goes a short way because I've not finished the restoration yet. I think that could take a very long time. One thing that I noticed last Sunday when I came by here was just how clear the water was. I don't think you can see it today, it's, the lighting's bad, but I can see the bottom of the canal past those reflections. Uh, maybe better at another spot. This building on the right here is the old pump house. As you can see with this restored part of the canal, it's basically just a concrete channel. The original canal was closed and disused because of a lot of mining in the area caused uh, ground subsidence. Oh look there. There's the... Uh, if you can see the bottom of the canal there, I can. Lots of weed. Very clear, lovely. Haven't seen any fish yet though. Yes, the uh, the ground was subsiding and it kept breaching the canals. So basically, a concrete channel is the only option. I believe here was a sign of a, a recent breach. I think from Snareston to the car boot sale going this way is about 1.7 miles. So it's a fair old walk. These two here were last were here last Sunday. Hello. I haven't got any bread. No. Oop. Hello. I 
I won't be taking the camera right into the car boot sale. We'll stop just before I uh, go into the field. And this is the last bridge currently on the Ashby, Bridge 62. Unfortunately, the towpath is not very good on the other side. And then there isn't really very much canal on the other side. You'll see in a moment. Here's a good sign. I don't know if it's original to this location. One disadvantage with the car boot sale though is because it's a regular one every Sunday and also bank holidays uh, it does attract a lot of traders you know I prefer car boot sales with more private sellers really but there'll be some of those as well and here is the end of the Ashby take the high ground. It's pretty muddy through there. Though I have got welly boots on today. So this is the old towpath. Still frost over there on the right. Of course, if you come through here in the summer, it'll probably be fairly dry. past seven in the morning. I'm a bit earlier than last week. This bit of land has been filled in over the years, but the canal used to go through here and just down there there's a little river. So there must have been an aqueduct because that river's not really big enough to merge with the canal and to float a boat through. So there must have been an aqueduct over it because you can see those little posts in the ground. That's where the canal used to go towards Misham. Yeah, definitely would have been an aqueduct across here. I can't remember the name of this river, I'll have to look that up. But 
the path continues on the other side here. There's the car boot sail to the left of the earth mound. Oh, it looks like it's a lot bigger than last week. Right here, it, uh, it marks where the mines go underneath the ground here and how deep they are. were largely the causes of the problems with this canal. Now right here used to be the site of an old canal wharf. Long gone. Islet Wharf. I don't know what the plans for restoration are for this section or quite when. That's much bigger than last week. All right, now the path continues just to the left here, straight into the car boot field. So I'm going to leave you now, so wish me luck and hopefully I'll get some nice bargains. Well, that's the car boot sale done. Fairly disappointing actually. 